Welcome to Sweethearts or Rivals. I'm Charlotte. I'm Justin. What's on our table today? Isle of Sky. From Chieftain to Laird. Laird? Oh, the king. king. Sorry. I've been watching too much Outlander. <laughs> okay. This is a game that plays two to five players. It can take you 60 minutes. Mm -hmm. And they recommend it for ages eight and up. There we go. It's published by Mayfair Games. Right on. So we're going to swap the camera around. We'll get her set up and we'll play a game. Right on. We'll be right back. We're back! We're almost set up. Almost. Uh, one of the first things you have to do to set up Isle of Sky is you need to know what exactly you're going to be scoring. So we have one of Charlotte's awesome game bags here. That's an old style. Yeah. It's still awesome. Still awesome. It's and we're right. going to draw what we're going to score. So this one will be for A. Ooh, this lakes. One, this one will be for B. points for every four. I think so. That's crazy. I think. We'll double check all of them. I don't like those column ones though. They're hard. <laughs> Especially when they're like, whoops. One point for every sheepy. I don't think we've ever had that one before. That one's never come out of the bag before and we've played this quite a few times. It's crazy. All right, so uh, the under the A column, we have lakes. Two victory points for each tile in your largest completed lake. Wow. If there's yep. any game like the game we played yesterday, I'll never complete my lake. <laughs> uh, then we have the square for two. Two victory points for each square of four landscape tiles. Oh. Landscape tiles can be a part of multiple squares. So I have to have green on them. Nope. No, it's just... You just have to have four tiles in a square. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you mean you could have six tiles and it could count for two fours. Yeah. So okay. if you had one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. like six tiles, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. okay. Um, the next one is uh, three victory points for each vertical line of at least three continu contiguous landscape tiles. So, yeah, a column mm -hmm. of three or yeah. more. You better um, double check that sheep one. It could be not as straightforward as it looks. Yep, and we're double checking the sheep. One victory point for each sheep in your territory. Awesome. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Start off with five bucks. Right, because you have a money spot right there on your castle. Yep. So technically we jumped ahead a little bit because mm -hmm. we already did the income phase of the first True. round. And you also get to pick who you're going to be. Justin yep. picked green, which is McKinnon. McKinnon! And I picked red. Which is not a common name in Nova Scotia, but I looked it up and I think you pronounce it McNichael. McNichael. And then if you want to be yellow, you can be McLeod. Yep. You can play silver or is it white? Either or. Anyway, it's McGinnis. Yep. And blue is McDonald. Yep. So. And obviously. we pride ourselves on being able to say them because we're from Nova Scotia. Right. Yep. New Scotland. M Mac Nova Scotia. No. No, no, that's not right at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so um, the first thing you do in Scott Isle of Sky is you have an income phase, which is $5 for your home tile, uh, plus you get an additional uh, dollar for every whiskey barrel that is connected to your castle via the roads. Right. So we have five bucks. Mm -hmm. uh, the next thing you do is whoever's first player, which we haven't determined yet. I have the chance cube right here. Right on, let's roll it. Six for me. Six, Six for Justin. for me. This, this die is a duplicate roller. It always rolls the same number <laughs> in a row. Let's five. find out. I should get a five. No, I got a one. Yay. So you're going first. I'm the bagpipe first. Yeah, which okay. means you're going to draw three of these tiles. Nice. And I'm going to shift over here just a little tiny bit and I shift my stuff like that. I can't see your screen. I can only see your axe, but okay. I'll try not to look at them. Yeah. It's going to be tricky because we're not facing each other. Here you go. There we go. And then you put them like this so that you can see them. Ooh. I'm just wondering if 
I should maybe do it like that. Because I can see all of your stuff. Can you? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> oh my goodness. So you're going to look at the tiles. Oh, goodness. goodness. <laughs> None of these tiles are going to be helpful for completing a lake. No, they're not. Even mine kind of are. Oh my. They yeah. all have lake on them, though. There we go. All right, so we draw three tiles each. We put them in front of our screens like so. Uh, then what we're going to do is behind our screen, we have an axe, and we're going to place the axe kind of corresponding to one of the three tiles that we want out of the game. Okay. Then we got to take our money, and we need to put coins next to the other two. And it can be as many coins as you want, um, but you also want to keep some coins not being used so that you have money to buy other tiles. And I'm basically going to be setting the price. So, for example, if I revealed my screen and this is what I had, it means this tile would be axed and these would both cost $1. Charlotte would have a chance to buy one of them and pay me. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, maybe it was something crazy like that. And if she wants that tile, she's going to have to pay me $4. Ha! Ooh, that's a big spender. Yeah. So, that's what we do now. We do it right. in secret. And you're going to look at your tiles, and they're going to have different features on them. Mm -hmm. So there's mountains and grass and water and roads. And then there's, like, boats and livestock and farms and rocks and castles. No castles, but lighthouses. Yep. And when you place your tiles, your green has to match your green. Your yep. mountain has to match your mountain. And your lake has to match your lake. But your roads can be dead ends. Yep. So that's all stuff you're considering when you're trying to decide. Yeah. which tiles to take right on um the other thing that we are also taking in consideration is in this round the only scoring we're going to do at the end of the round is a so just this tile which means we will score nothing if we have not completed a lake in the first round in the first round right which looking at our tiles that will not happen right yeah it certainly won't right on. then the next round we're just going to score b the round after that we're going to score a and c then the fourth round is going to be B and D. The fifth round is A, C, and D. And then the final round is B, C, D. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, I'm done. I'm ready. Okay. So, so I asked my sheet because we we're going to get points for sheet. There you go. And you're first player, which means you get to buy first. Oh, lovely. Well, I think I like the looks of one point for every Brock. There you go. So I get to take this. Because she didn't buy this one, I lose that money, and this becomes part of my territory. Mm -hmm. Now I get to buy one of yours. I kind of like this idea right here. Thanks. So I get to keep this money, and I spend this money on my... Yep. A Brock that I got... And I have a point for it, actually, in the end of the game. Okay. And then I have this much money left over. Right on. So now we got to add to our places here. Maybe I should go like that. And I could go like this. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to do that. Okay. So you're not planning on completing any legs ever. <laughs> <laughs> but it does look very nice. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, so um, after I'm on the ocean coast, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Um, after we're done that, we've placed our tiles into our land. Uh, then we score. None of us have completed any lakes, and a completed area is something that, you know, it's complete. Like I have a completed mountain here, which gives me nothing right now. Mm -hmm. um, so that means the marker moves on to the next round. Uh, I become first player, and we get our income. Um, I'm getting six dollars. Me as well. I'll take it in twos, please. There you go. Thanks. Right on. Uh, these tiles go back into the bag. They get all shuffled up. And I'm taking three first. And part of the game is to keep your money hidden. Yep. Um, but it's kind of tricky right now because I can probably just glance over at the computer monitor and see how much money you have. <laughs> I tried to have mine in the corner so he couldn't see it, but... We also want you guys to be able to see it too, so. Yep. We'll try not to be bad cheaters. Hmm. Three tiles. One, yep. two, three. I think I got three. 
Uh, another interesting thing with the game is some of the tiles that you're going to put into your uh, clan territory are going to give you points at the end of the game. So for example, this right here is going to give me one point for every two boats. And if I can complete that feature that it's in, that lake, it doubles. So it'll give me two points for every two boats. Mm -hmm. That's why I like that one. Yeah. One point for every brock. Oh, and you already have that completed too. I sure do. Nicely done. Yeah, thanks. Excellent. So at the end of this round, we are going to score two points for every um, four land tiles in a square. Wow. That's yeah, tricky. Very tricky. Well... It's tricky because I really just want both of those. And I shouldn't have said that out loud. Okay, I'm ready. Me too. Okay. So this one gets axed. I axed this one. Done. I get to go first. Ooh. So I'm going to have to pay you three bucks, and you're going to have to pay me three bucks. Decisions, decisions? Lots of decisions. I almost don't want either of your tiles. I just want both of mine. <laughs> You can pass if you want. You don't have to spend your money. No, because then you can still buy one of mine. Right, and then I'll get three and you'll get one. Yeah, and I don't like that. Oh, uh, it would be awesome for me. No, it's all okay. So, can I do that? How are you shattering my dreams I today? I can, so I'm going to give you that so I can take this. Thanks, hon. I really wanted the one with the sheep on it. So now I get to spend those monies. Yep. And I really want the one with the sheep on it. Thanks. This goes away. I get this one. So now we get to place. Oh, it doesn't work. That's <laughs> so annoying. I wonder if I can do that some other way. Oh, but I needed four. Hmm. I need something with four. Yeah, I know. Me too. I don't think it's going to work. Well, I'm not getting points for whiskey barrels, but it would be sad to always only get six dollars. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not scoring for my four. I'm just going to wait until next time. Seems silly, but it doesn't look like you're going to get to score your four either. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to leave mine the way they are. Unless you're just going to figure it out right now. Nope. Do we score anything for our four? We don't because <laughs> neither of us actually created a four. Uh, you become the first player. Yahoo! We move on to uh, this round. This mm -hmm. round we are scoring for the largest completed lake, as well as a column of three tiles or, or more. more. Yeah. Um, all right. Next round we're getting income, so I'm getting six dollars. I also get six dollars. No, sorry, I get seven. I get six dollars. I was gonna say I got six last time. Did I cheat? But nope, I get seven dollars now. Um, normally at this round, whoever is trailing in points would get an extra dollar as a bonus, but we haven't gotten any points at all. <laughs> we're masters. Woohoo! Yeah. We have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> there you go. Oh, wait, sorry. There's some tiles that need to go in there. There okay. we go. Okay, yep, Thanks. all yours now. <laughs> so mix them up, see if I can get a goodie. Yeah. Game's almost half done, haven't scored a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for the long game myself. There you go, yeah. Oy, that's funny. Well, well, well. It's a deep subject. Heavens, heavens to Mercatroyd. Holy crap, old. I guess. Okay, ready? I'm ready. So this one's gone? This one's gone. And you get to build first. Buy first. I didn't even look at your tiles. Yeah, I didn't look at yours either because I didn't want to like see what you were doing. So interesting stuff. Okay. A road and a mountain. Interesting. With two boats. Well, I don't want that one, so I guess I have to buy that one. Ah, uh -huh, money for me. That's yours. This is gone. Okay, so now what do I need to buy since you messed up that whole plan? <laughs> well, they're both four bucks. Yep. Alrighty, so that won't work. 
that won't work. It's the exact, this one is the exact opposite of what I need it to be in both perspectives. That's wonderful. Cause Fantastic. I don't want you to take either one of my cards. So I guess I'm going to take this one. My cows? Taking the cows. Grr. This is the one I wanted anyway. Because okay. I wanted to put it right here. Just like. Where does that make me have to put this one? Who knows? Because it's a gross tile. I didn't want it in the first place. It's just going to have to go right there. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> I cannot complete anything. <sighs> this one also has the wrong... Like if it was the road oh, this way, it would yeah. be perfect. So we are scoring for the largest completed lake and a column of three or more. Mm -hmm. I cannot complete a lake. Go for columns. Unless I did something like that. Yep. Which would be a completed lake and it would give me four points. But it's not going to help me with my columns. Well, you have two tiles, don't you? Yeah, I've already placed one. Oh. Of course, I could do this, mm -hmm. and then, no, that doesn't work either. You could do that. I could, but then it cuts off. Oh, to your whiskey barrel. Yeah, which would have been really nice to get. Hmm. could just do that and then at least I have a column of three. Mm -hmm. So why don't I do that then and then at least I have a column of three and I will score some points this round. All right so let us score points. You have a completed lake worth two tiles which is going to be four points and then you have two columns of three which is going to be one two three four five six. Nice that sounds like ten points. Ten points. I have a column of three. Long game. Sure. Yeah. I wish I could say that's what I was going for, but it's not. <laughs> I just can't get anything. Sometimes that happens <sighs> with the draw. Yeah. Um, okay. So that's points, which means that flips over there. This comes over to me. Income. And then income. How much are you getting? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six dollars for you. Thanks. I am getting five six seven eight nine five six seven eight nine because i am trailing in points ha ha there you go okay this round we are going to score four uh in a square and sheepies how many sheeps you got um i have two i've got one okay so you're not beating me on that too bad that's not that's good. not tremendously Here's my first one. Ooh, a cow. Which I don't With the road. It does not fit to where I need it to. Holy cow, that's going to be expensive. I guess. <laughs> Three sheepies in one tile. But I don't even think I have a spot to place that. Well, maybe I would. And a whiskey barrel. Yep. Which I couldn't place even if I wanted to. I don't think. <sighs> Holy cow. I'll take these three. Cows and a sheep and a whiskey barrel. Nice. Mountain road farm, farm sheep. Oh, oh, I don't like any of these tiles. I'm gonna have to like really stare at them to see if they fit anywhere in my village. Okay, ready? Ready. <laughs> you asked the one I wanted. Oh, did you? I don't want those sheep. Oh, well I guess I'm paying 10 for the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> but I get to go first. I don't care. I want that one. So this one's out. I think that's the one I wanted too. Darn good, it. Good. Good. That or makes me ha that makes me feel better. No, actually it wasn't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I thought I put nine. Whatever. Go. So I get that one. Really? Yep. 
I don't get any good tiles this time. You also got a ton of money because I've got two bucks I left. I got a ton of money. Unless you want to buy the sheeps. No, I have to buy this one. Okay. Which means I lose all ten of those. That was a very expensive round for me. I went down to $4. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. But I got to the tiles that I wanted, which is good. Because I get to do that. That makes me happy. Very, very happy. Mountain, mountain, mountain everywhere, I guess. It's going to have to go like that. And I'm not going to get two fours. Because this has to go. Now we score. First, we are scoring I'm a square. All my money. Sorry. So you've got one square and I've got one square. So we will get two points. And then we are scoring sheeps. So I got one, two, three, four, five. I have two. You have two. I was counting on getting the tile I really wanted. Mm. Bummer! Oh well. You become next player? Yes. First player. All right, income. Five, six, seven for me, please. Do you want twos? Do you want five? Oh, give me a five and a two, please. Okay, there you go. Um, I've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's a good thing I'm getting lots of money here because that was a very expensive round for me. And this round we are going to be scoring uh, the largest completed lake. And this is the last time we'll score that one. Then we're going to score columns of three or more and sheep. And before we start messing stuff, let's just see what we got over there. Lots of Bracturas. Interesting. Lots of mountains too. I have I have tricky tricky cards here. Tricky tricky cards. <laughs> Did you say Brock to rock? Is that what it is? It's a Brock. Just a Brock? Yeah. Not bro not a Brock truck. No, that's a place in the in that book. Oh. Outlander. Okay. <laughs> Ready? I guess. Oh, Oops, my thing fell apart. <laughs> <laughs> this one's gone. And this one's gone. Okay. Okay. And you're buying first. Holy cow. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine dollars you're gonna make me pay for either of those tiles. Yes. That's just rude. No. I make you pay two. You're going to make me pay two for stuff that I probably don't even want to place in my village. Yep, exactly. You got it. Well, I'm going to have to pay two for this one because it has a brock on it. Okay. Which means I lose those and I'm going to get that. I don't even know if I can fit that in my village, uh, but we'll see. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, which one do I want here then? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Might as well just get rid of this, and then you get to keep all your money. Because it works out to be the same thing. Which towel am I taking? Oh, okay. Yeah. I have to take this one. I'm going to get this one. So, I had decided that I probably had to put this one here. Because I can't put it here like a... That would have been awesome, but I can't, so... And then where is this one gonna go? Like, oh yeah, I'll put it there actually. All right, mm -hmm. ready to score? Ready. Okay, so the first thing we're scoring is our lake. Do you have a completed lake? I have this one. So you get four points. And mine is one, two, three, four, five for 10 points, yeah. <laughs> Mackinnon. Um, the next thing we're going to score is uh, columns of three or more. I've got three. I have three. Okay, so we both get nine, nine. points. Nice. Uh, and then we're scoring sheep. Five. I don't know what you're crying about. 
Not crying about anything now. Huzzah. It's expensive, but I got some good tiles those last couple rounds. So, um, last round, first thing we do is income. What are you getting? Uh, let's see here. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight, five, six, seven, eight. Twelve. Plus an extra four. There you go. And then I got five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I have way too much money here. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> I gotta change some of it in. Okay. What would you like? Two fives. <laughs> I'm putting the fear in them. Yep. All right, and this round, what are we scoring? This round, we're scoring squares, columns, and sheep. I gotta get me some sheep. So nothing for lakes. Lakes do not score anymore. First one. And this is the last one. Yep. That's a sheep. There you go. That's, you have two sheep. I do indeed. Oops, I wrecked my whole town. This is gone. This one's gone. I get to buy first. Holy cow, 15 bucks each. Uh, well, I can't buy anything worth $15, so I buy nothing. <laughs> Your turn to buy. I'll just buy that sheet. I lose all my money, which is points actually at the end. <laughs> ah, that's right. There's six points gone. But you just wait and see. I hope I made it up with my genius plan here. Okay. Nice. Yeah, that'll work out quite fine. So you got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, you got a whole lot more than I did. Darn it. What? Well, I was all happy because I got one, two, three, four. Oh. You've got like more than that. <laughs> <laughs> a whole lot more than that. Okay. So then we do our last scoring. So the first thing are the squares. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, if I'm counting right. I have one. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Four. Five. Nope. Oh. <laughs> one. Well, this is the middle point. So yeah. one, two, three, four, four five. five, six. Lovely. So that's that was twelve even points. Why I wanted those two tiles so bad. It was for that. And to enclose it in a lake. Yeah. So that's twelve points. I've got one, two, three, four for eight points. Uh, the next thing are the columns. You've got one, two, three, four columns. So that's going to be 12 points. And I've only got three, which is going to be nine points. Uh, and, and then the last sheep. thing is sheep. One, two, three. I have three. One, two, three, and I've got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. So as it stands, I'm currently winning by a single point. And now it's our end game scoring. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, my end game scoring, I'll go first because I think your end game scoring is going to kick my butt. Um, I'm getting two points for every two boats. Because your scoring is in close to like Yeah. So, that's one, two, three sets for six, six points. Six points. Two, three, four, five, six. 
And you're getting two points per lighthouse. And two points per Brock. Okay. So. Two, four, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight, ten, twelve. Twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that's down to money. Yep, and it's one point for every five bucks. So I only get one point because I spent it all trying to get these two tiles. Yep, and I get two points because that's all I got left. And you are the winner. By four points! Nice! That was a good game. I mean, it started out like we were not getting <laughs> any points for anything. Like, yeah. But I think these two are actually slow. Yes. Like, you can't just come out of the gate and get, no. you know, an eight-point lake. Right. If this had been like A and this had been like yeah, they had all shuffled down. If they came out in a different order. Yeah. Yeah. But that's part of the game is these four scoring tiles are completely random for every game. Right. Yeah. So it was a close game and we scored a lot of points because we went all, all the way around the board. So that's Isle of Sky? It is. Yep. So we'll do a review mm -hmm. next. Yep. Thanks for watching. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next video. Laters.